Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, start in the presentation. Uh, I'm Jim McClare. I live here in Nashville. I work as a carpenter. I do have a college degree. I'm working as a carpenter, and we'll do that until I retire, and hopefully in a few years. But it really depends on the economy. <coughs> I, I have been looking at some of the economic indicators recently, and I, I'm concerned, and I... I would think other people would be being concerned as well, so uh, that's why I put together this presentation. <clears throat> I, there's, uh, I think, a good chance that we are nowhere near the bottom of the current economic turmoil, and uh, it could get a lot worse. It could get a lot worse very rapidly. It could be precipitated by some some incident. Uh, I think in uh, actually, I hope that I'm wrong about this, but um, I think there's a, a good chance that we could be in for a depression along the lines of, or even worse, than the Great Depression in, in our own history. And other, other countries have been through similar things. Uh, right now, Iceland is in the grips of uh, a, a very serious economic situation where their, their currency is not being accepted by any other countries. And uh, they cannot import food unless they get foreign currency with which to, you know, to spend it for the food that they import. So they're they're in a, a real pickle, and it's all been caused by the banking crisis, the over leveraged uh, uh, investments that uh, Iceland was so proud of. They they were they were one of the leaders uh, in. Uh, and creating wealth. In fact, the standard of living in Iceland uh, has been very high, one of the highest nations in the world until just recently. And now, now, now they're in a very tough situation. We're not, we're not like Iceland in, in that we have a whole lot more natural resources here. Uh, and uh, we're a bigger and hopefully more resourceful country. But still, uh, this crisis that is going on is worldwide. And uh, there, there have already been food crises uh, in different parts of the globe. It just, it just with the, uh, uh, even before the, the current economic crisis, the, all the ethanol production uh, used corn, used uh, agricultural land that uh, would have gone to, to growing cheaper corn. And so the corn prices have risen, and they had food rights in Mexico because Mexico is very corn dependent. And apparently, they import a lot from uh, from the U.S. Anyway, uh, the idea of being prepared for something something bad coming our way is is not a, a new one. Uh, the Mormon Church. Uh, I'm not a member of the Mormon Church, but I, I am aware of what their teachings are, and they have taught their people to be prepared for several years uh, in case there is a, a natural disaster, uh, war, pestilence, famine, a, a, a long-term long drought, or uh, other situations such as an economic crisis. I, I know many Mormons have written books about how to prepare for the coming crash. And I read one back in the 70s when, when people were waiting in long lines to get some a, a limited amount of gas in their gas tank because gas was rationed and the interest rates were up you know, around 20 percent. Uh, I think the prime was, was at about 20. Anyway, the, the big crash didn't happen then. Uh, but I did go through the food preparation, uh, some of the food preparation methods uh, taught by the Mormons. And, and that basically is what I want to show you tonight. There are other more recent techniques for, for uh, uh, preserving food for long-term storage, and uh, they may be actually more useful. I'll tell you a little bit about them. But um, uh, I don't like them for every purpose, and, and one of the reasons why is because uh, techniques that, that depend on removing the oxygen from the container that the food is in uh, will have the eventual effect of killing off the little 
germ of life that exists in, in the seed. For instance, the, this is whole wheat here. Uh, and those seeds are alive. And the sprouts that we just passed around, right here, that are group protein, they, they have a little live uh, component inside them that, that starts growing when it gets moisture. So uh, if you want to sprout your seeds, or if you want to use them uh, as a crop, let's say 10, 20 years down the road, you say, well, maybe we should plant a wheat field. Uh, if you've preserved your, your wheat with some of the methods that remove all the oxygen, uh, you're going to have a very poor germination rate, and uh, you may not get any germination at all. I have not personally conducted any tests along these lines, so I can't, I can't say with any authority. Uh, but that is one reason why uh, I don't like those particular techniques. I'll, I'll show you one of the techniques uh, for removing oxygen tonight. These are, are pails that I, I picked up uh, from uh, drywall contractors, and they, they don't have any use for them after, you know, they just have to throw them away, so in a sense it's a, it's a favor to them to have me come along and say, hey, could I have some of those pails? And I load up. Yeah, they're, all, they're all cruddy, they're muddy on the inside, muddy on the outside, and I have to take them home and scrub them. But they clean up pretty nicely, and even if I did leave a little bit inside, no big problem because uh, I probably eat uh, half a pound of drywall joint compound anyhow. <laughs> I'm still here. It's not non-toxic, uh, and uh, so it's it's uh, it's one good method for getting buckets. Uh, another is just go and buy them. You can buy them at Walmart. I think Lowe's uh, sometimes Home Depot has them. Uh, you can get them for about five bucks with a lid. You want to want to look for the, the thickness, uh, the durability of the bucket. These these are pretty durable, and uh, and they have um, they have lids that clamp down tight. So this is what I store my uh, whole grains, and, and I'm even going to store uh, rolled oats in. I've just got uh, 100 pounds of rolled oats, quick quick cook rolled oats. And uh, I'm going to put those up using a different method than I am going to, to do using the wheat. 